Hey guys, welcome back to another daily recap. Today I'm gonna be going over a couple of my trades, but also uh, I did a little bit of live trading, uh, paper trading, because I have no more shares. But I actually took um, a first, my first loss on the setup, and actually I took both, like two losses, because I used two day trades today, and I took a loss on both, and so we're gonna be going over that. Before we get into this, I do have to say this video is not backed by my investing club. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. And I also have some live trading clips that I'm gonna input at the end. So if you wanna see those, uh, stay tuned. I'll just leave in the key points. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoy. So Lex, I have plans, um, 730, 740, 750. This view up area, I wanna pop there. Market just opened. Um, ADAP, I'm looking for 650 with a 670 stop. Uh, for a high day short this line is only if we have a huge tank i might short that so while all this goes on let me review my trade oh my gosh <laughs> okay um so it's the low hanging fruit as you can see i got stopped out on this this is the first time i've ever i've ever gotten stopped out on this low hanging fruit setup uh, before this i had a 100 percent win rate with seven trades um, but now I took a loss on MMAT. I shorted red to green uh, and it reclaimed and I stopped out. My original stop was 564, but there was so many bid supporters like here the whole time. And so once we, you know, there's just so many people bidding it up and holding it up. So I just got out earlier um, and I would have got stopped out. So I guess I did the right move, but wow. I mean, yeah, this is my my thesis is still invalid. My thesis was that it's gonna reject here, uh, maybe reject 550. I should have had my original stop at like 557 instead of 564, but I think the I think I'm scared of losing one R. I don't know. I I shouldn't be scared of losing one R. Um, I'm gonna fix my mistakes on that part. Uh, another <laughs> another loss was um, FTFT. This one, I got hit with the setup's kryptonite, which is PR. Uh, so this is a very broken down chart. This one was probably my favorite. Uh, but then, boom, PR just came out instantly. Just boom. I put my, my hard stop was nine, uh, 295. This should be adjusted right here. My hard stop was 295, pre-planned. Um, but it, boom, went all the way to 305. And I saw the bid was 295, so I put my bid at 295 as well. Instantly came back down. I got executed, came all the way back down, and now it's working. Um, but you know, PR sucks. Uh, got me out. Uh, so let me show you my my stuff today. This is it. Um, if you look at the dollar amount, it sucks. But also, if you look at the R, it doesn't suck. Like 1.6 R loss is nothing looking at i made 3.3 r yes uh last week with only four trades so this week with having uh, a good amount of trades i should be good i have some other watches if they are in play on my other screen i'll pull them up Let's see if we get a pop this is my favorite setup lex uh this too if it can like squeeze back up to high day and reject but i don't know this is a pretty big candle um, RNXT, let me pull this up real quick, RNXT, um, Alex might be looking at a short 11.50, maybe 12, and then this high with a stop right over, I'm interested in that, uh, and I'll show Alex's chart if he does share it, if he does trade it, um, but that's a potential thing right there, uh, ADAP, people are probably gonna be shorting the pops on this, probably gonna be shorting the pops on this, um, we have a 575 death line. IRNT is another stock, but it's just so high priced, so I don't like this. Okay, here we go. We got a pop on this. I'm gonna short the. Well, we have no hot trick right now, so do want to be a little more careful. And Lex is low float. Oh, I actually don't know if ADAP is low float, but it looks like it's rejecting already, so probably missed that. Um, I'm going to put a starter out at 5.97 and I'm going to do 6.07 I'm going to do 6.17 and then have my stop at 5.19 and then have my stop at 
at 6.30. Um, Alex is shorting RNXT at 11. Let's see. Oh, wow. He kind of... Once he saw this stuff, he probably slammed in. I mean, actually, he got an exact 11 execution. So after this tank, he probably put some orders out for that. Let's go back to Lex. That's pretty sick. Lex gives no bounce, really. Um, ADAP is looking like it's going to give a bounce. There's also no hot check right now. So I think I could see this one uh, doing weird stuff if it wants. Honestly, at this point, this one is just short bounces. So, actually, one thing a lot of people do is run intraday view up, and that's how they know that they're not chasing, but they short that. Okay, so that seems like chasing to me. Uh, I'd say 587. I don't know. We're get we're kind of holding down here. While this all oh le. L-E-X-X. Oh, okay, so Alex was really small size RNXT. Um, so he, because he, he said it didn't give any pops. So he was shorting view up, probably, like I said, scaling. He would probably scale all the way to 1250, to be honest. So he was probably sizing accordingly. If it looked like it was going to reject view up, probably when it went full size with a tighter stop. Uh, and then would have did that, but like it just didn't get up there. But his first order was at 11. That's what we know. But yeah, I mean, honestly, there's nothing going on. That was a little live commentary for you guys. What my plans, I wanted Lex uh, short view up. Uh, RNXT, we know that Alex wanted to short view up, probably scale a little more. But he only got his starter on down here. Um, IRNT, I wasn't watching. I wasn't even watching because it's so non-niche. Like, it's super high price. I don't like that. Uh, ADAP. Also shorting pops on this. You see my lines here. They never got hit. Um, actually, 580 here doesn't look too bad. But I wasn't even watching this, and it doesn't look too bad. Like get get. So Alex and Alex in this situation, Alex would use one tenth size. So you get a starter, probably another, probably another, probably another, probably another, probably another to the stop. You know that I had. So you got to use small size, but. Yes. Oh, actually. Uh, actually, this looks good. Okay, 587 starter. And I'm going to get another one at 597. And then 607. with a stop at six uh stop at six seventeen. Let's see how this goes. And I'm gonna be covering on support probably five uh yeah. Let's see. I'll probably hold a lot, uh, a good amount for lower. Honestly uh, uh, I could see this one making higher lows and going back to view up. I'll probably just nail and bail for like a 10 cent gain. Ah, Harry just said ADAP potential if we keep grinding. <laughs> so my trade, this is a, a good example of what to do when Harry says something's good and you're short. Um, I'm looking to nail and bail. I'm sticking to my risk. I'm not gonna just cut right now, but I'm gonna be nailing and bailing. Gonna be nailing and bailing. I'm gonna put some orders out for, let's put 77 for now. Yeah, Lex is bouncing now. I don't. I feel like the the best time for this view up project short is right on the open when we give a little tank and then we pop back to it and then we go down. Uh, it's probably still gonna work now, like a 520 reject. It's probably still gonna work. I'm gonna go. Yeah, five. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get in right there. Because, look at this line. And I'm going to have a stop at 7.45. 
Okay, I got both orders hit on ADAP. Uh, I'm gonna be look. I'm gonna look to cover some here at 85. That's gonna be half, and then I'm gonna be full out at 82. Uh, I'm going to get another starter on this one at 27. Keep my stop. I'm going to have a cover here at 692. I should have had it ahead of time. Wow, I didn't get hit on ADAP. Okay. My average is around 593. I'm gonna get all out at 88. Dink, I'm out. I uh, made a lower high. <laughs> I should have just kept my orders. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, Lex, that was also a good trade. But now bail just because this setup is most ideal right in the morning. Uh, right now, I feel like we could like zombie earlier on. So that is the end of this daily recap. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications because I upload every day. Uh, I hope you all had a good day today. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.